What's up, everyone? Happy Sunday fun day. We are back on Long Island, New York. And we actually got to do a real ride today. Back from Texas. So from uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we rode on a stationary bike. And I do say, I think the workout maybe is a little bit better. But uh, better for my body. But this is better for my head. Beautiful Sunday fun day down here. Long Beach, New York, little slice of paradise, again, about 20 miles from New York City, and it's an absolutely gorgeous morning. A little bit later today, that force of average was strong. It's been a long couple of days. I've been getting up extra early. Usually I ride, uh, I get up at 5.45, and uh, I ride at 6, and uh, to do our workouts over at Mark's gym, we were getting up at five and heading out it's a little bit earlier. We weren't going to bed till you know at least midnight, one in the morning. So definitely some sleep deprivation and definitely hurting a little bit from uh, the fitness ninjas workouts. But um, it's all good. It's all good. Good morning. How are you? Hi there. Good morning. So um, a little traffic going by. Um, so anyway, so we're back in town. We learned a lot at Apex. Um, Love the love going down there. I love everyone in there. I try to tag a bunch of you in here, tell you how much I appreciate seeing all of you, uh, how much you inspire me, how much uh, you uh, you made me grow mentally, physically, especially at the gym. It's just uh, a really amazing experience. Uh, it's just great. It's how important it is to surround yourself with like-minded, positive people uh, that really push you in life. But enough with that. Let's get some message of the day. Message of the day. Um, talk a lot about uh, people are going through stuff in their life and um, they talk, talk about like, why is this happening to me? And they get depressed over it. And we need to realize that every situation in our life is a lesson. And once we start to realize that the stuff we're going through in our life is a learning lesson and we try and figure out what this is teaching us and we don't get upset about it, we don't get depressed by it, we uh, don't let it steal our joy. Everything that comes into your life is a lesson. God puts that in your life for a reason. So before you get excited over something that's happening in your life, stop and think about what this is teaching you. Sit there and just basically say, all right, yep, this sucks, but what's this teaching me? What's this teaching me? How can I prevent this next time? What do I need to do to grow, to make this better, to make me better so that next time this situation arises, I can avoid it and I can be better and I can help people avoid the situation. You know, part of life is learning lessons to help teach our friends and our people around us, um, how not to, you know, how to get through stuff and the way you did so that they don't experience uh, the pain and stuff that uh, possibly you were going through. Um, part of coaching, uh, part of Apex, the whole community is to help people, um, I guess, get ahead in life faster, um, to help people learn lessons faster by, uh, I guess, adding experiences that we've been through. Um, I can tell you how to not screw some stuff up in real life that I've screwed up. Um, if we can have a conversation, I realize that you're heading down that path. Um, I'm happy to share with you what I went through and what I did and what I do to avoid that situation. So, um, it's so important, so important. So many people, when life gets sideways, stuff goes wrong. Every day is, a uh, is a new mission. Every day is a new beginning. And when stuff goes wrong in our lives, just stop. Don't get excited and think about what is this teaching me? Why is God putting this in my life? And what is this teaching me? Because when you start thinking about what, this is teaching you, and you don't get excited, you don't get depressed, you say, okay, I got this, I understand why this is happening, and this is what we're going to do to fix it, this is what we're going to do so this doesn't happen next time, and don't get excited, don't lose your joy, it's so important not important not to lose your joy, every morning when we get out of bed, we have a decision uh, to be positive and negative, we have a decision to have faith, or, uh, or to be depressed, and um, both are unknown, both can't be seen, we don't know physically can't touch whether today's going to be a good day or today's going to be a bad day. You physically can't touch uh, some good things are going to happen or some bad things are going to happen. It's all faith. It's all mindset. Um, so every morning we've got to wake up and we got to say today is going to be a good day. Positive affirmations. Wake, out of, wake up out of bed and say today is going to be a good day. Today we are going to get stuff done. Today we are going to start with a workout. Uh, you saw Ryan Stuman was on my live uh, two days ago and he says we got to get the hard things done first. We got to get out of bed. We got to do a good workout. And we got to get the hard things done early in the day because when we leave the hard things to late in the day, we tend to not do them. We tend to do them half-assed because we just don't have that fire. We don't have 
that energy. Uh, we're not fresh. So get up every morning, do the hard stuff, get a workout in, go for a bike ride, go for a walk, just get moving. Just get your head off the pillow nice and early. Get out there, enjoy some fresh air. And then start with a positive mindset. Say, today's going to be a good day. Today, we're going to accomplish some stuff. Today, I'm going to see some friends. Today, I'm going to touch some people in my life. Today, I'm going to help some people in my life. And uh, and if you start every day like that, every day will get better uh, day by day. Uh, all right, so that's the lesson of the day. I appreciate all of you coming on here every morning. I appreciate all the loves. If you're loving this and you're liking this, throw some likes on there. Throw some loves on there. I love everyone that's sharing the message. Uh, it means a lot to me, those of you that are reaching out. Um, I'm happy to be helping you. I'm happy to help change your life. Uh, I changed my life in the process. Coaching is, is uh, just as good for me as it is, as it is for you. The more I teach you and show you stuff uh, that I've discovered in life and uh, basically bring to you all the stuff that I learn and all the organizations I'm in, um, it helps me grow too. So we're all in this world together. We're all here to build each other up. We're all here to make the world a better place. In a world where hate makes headlines, all of us good people on here need to speak up. We all need to help each other. We all need to bond together. It's a battle of good versus evil, and we need to stay good every day. We need to stay positive every day, and we need to start winning every day. All right, everyone, let's get in prayers. we got a beautiful scenery here. Look at that. Look at that. When you start your day like this, nothing can stop you. All right, name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Long the hour of death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, thank you for uh, the sunshine. Thank you for waking me up to see another day. Thank you for waking all my friends up to see another day. Thank you for giving us a new opportunity to start each day uh, in a positive way. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to help the opportunity to share the love, opportunity to make the world a better place. Um, thank you for everything you do in our lives. Thank you for our families. Thank you for opportunity. Uh, amen. All right, everyone. So it's Sunday, fun day. I am down here on the Long Beach boardwalk. I'm going to ride a little bit. I see Joe Sinone is on here. What's up, brother? Uh, if you aren't doing anything, you want to grab breakfast, I might grab breakfast in a little while. Anyone down here? I know Mike I saw on here. Uh, Mike is over in Island Park. Let me know if you want to come meet up for breakfast. I'm going to go ride the boardwalk a little bit. I may take a nap on the beach because it's absolutely beautiful here. I brought a towel with me. We'll jump in the water quick or something. And then grab breakfast and ride home. So any of you guys that are uh, in the Long Beach area here, it is now. I don't know what time it is now. Whatever time it is now, I'll be here for probably about an hour or so. And then I'll be heading back home. So reach out to me if you want to meet up, grab breakfast. Um, 917-509-0506. For those of you that uh, don't have my number, shoot me a text or call. And I uh, will meet up. All right. Uh, real estate activity has been big. I got my Elmont one. is ridiculously over asking price and going to contract. Uh, I got one in Oceanside uh, that just went into, that's going into contract, half signed. Uh, my one in Malvern is in contract now on WAG. The one on Lawrence uh, should be closing any minute now. I do have the one in uh, Rockwell Center. It's shown a couple times. That's a uh, one-bedroom co-op, and it is a really nice unit in Rockwell Center, one Jefferson, 259. Uh, the maintenance is only 714 a month, so if you put 10% down on that, your payment would be about 1800 a month, and that's less than an apartment will cost you in Rockville Center. So uh, if you're renting right now, uh, this is a really cool unit, really great location, close to everything, super low maintenance. Uh, start building some equity rather than throwing money away. So oh, there's Joe Sonona. Let's get Joe on. Joe's the Long Beach native here. We got enough bandwidth to make this happen. Sometimes I lose it. Oh, there's Mr. Joe. Good morning, good sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Those of you who don't, don't know Joe, Joe is Mr. Long Beach. Uh, he's the real estate king of Long Beach. for down here, what, 30 years now, something like that? Selling in Long Beach? You just had an anniversary again, right? What'd you say? I said you just had an anniversary again, right, down here in uh, Long just Beach? Just had an anniversary. I'm celebrating my, I'm beginning this, my 33rd year in the business. That's amazing. That's amazing. So those of you who don't know, <laughs> 
Joe is actually the guy who taught me real estate over at Hofstra. And uh, he taught me a lot about the business and continues to teach me a lot about the business. And uh, I appreciate him in my life. Uh, we've shared a lot, of, a lot of fun, a lot of knowledge, and uh, we get to lean on each other a lot. And Brian, I'm so proud of what, what you do and what you've done with this career. Uh, it's amazing what you have accomplished. And that comes from someone who came to my classroom and said, I don't want to do real estate. I just want to buy and sell. <laughs> <laughs> you remember yeah, you, that? You, that was your, I, and I'm always going to remind that. you of that because 100%. you never know where life is going to bring you. Yeah, you called it. You called it. You said you're going to sell it. I said I don't know. I said you're going to sell, and here I am selling. Uh, we're I don't know. I think I'm pushing ninety something deals in four years, and uh, it's. Oh my uh, goodness, that's incredible. Yeah. That, that yeah, that's absolutely incredible. Like and and by the way, could you tell everybody? We lost Joe. We lost Joe. Where'd you go, Joe? Come on, see if we can get Joe back. We lost Joe. Where'd you go, Joe? Let's see if we can get him back on. Try that again. Oh, we lost hey, you. All right, I'm, you're back. I'm back. <laughs> I, uh, I was telling everybody how incredible that was. And because you are a part-time agent with a full-time mentality because you have other businesses in your career and you're able to focus on real estate. And how is that possible? Uh, just we do it. We do it. Um, it's all about the relationships in life, as you know. Uh, relationships over transaction is something you train me and Ricky trains us. And I've kind of always been that kind of person that it's all about the relationships in our lives. And that's that's how it comes. You know, I just help people out. I don't sell real estate. I help people. Uh, we help people find their first home. We help people, you know, sell that family home, the empty nesters that are downsized. And we help people uh, sell grandma's house when she passes away. It's a really sad experience, but we help everybody in our lives. Um, you know, real estate is not just selling a piece of property. Uh, we lost Joe again. Uh, but real estate's not really just selling a piece of property. It's really, it's really, uh, you know, it's a lot of emotions involved. It's a lot of uh, a lot more to it. And uh, when you take it seriously like that, it, um, it, it really just, that's people gravitate to it. Um, again, I'm here to help people. We talk about how it's more than just a piece of property. It, it's, you know, it's really you're dealing with people's emotions. And like I said, when, it, when a young couple buys their first house and you think about all the experiences they're going to have in a house every holiday, raising their kids, um, it's just really amazing to, to be in people's lives and be able to touch them like that. So That's right. That's right. And you discovered that early on in your career and you continue to crush it with your team and the people that you service and the community outreach that you have. is It's just incredible. I appreciate so that. So I wanted to uh, come on and celebrate you for a change because not too many people validate other people the way they should. So it's not just about getting up in the morning, but just to say thank you to you, my business partner, for bringing about, you know, the inspiration to everybody here uh, that anybody and everybody can do this and everybody can make that change and, and pivot the, the, the way they want to in their life. Yes, yes, it's all a choice. You know, we wake up every day and we have a choice of what we're going to do. Um, we can, you know, we can be depressed and we can say, you know, I'm never going to make it or you can wake up and say, today I'm going to win. And uh, when you wake up every morning and you get out of bed and you try and win, it happens. It's all a mindset. And we all can. You know, what are you at 111 days now? 111 days in a row. Uh, it's probably about 30 days before that on and off. Uh, but we're consistently 111 days towards the mission of 365 in a row. And uh, that's awesome. Messages everyone. I don't think I know anybody who could do it for five days in a row. No, it's, it's a battle. <laughs> uh, you know, there's some mornings, uh, you know, down in Texas, uh, we were getting up at 5 a.m. to go do our, our rides. And uh, that was after going to bed at like 12, 1 o'clock after a full day of school and networking and whatnot. And even this morning, it was a little rough getting up. Uh, but we do it. We get out of bed every day and, you know, we got to hold ourselves accountable. You know, the only way you grow is to be accountable. Uh, so many people just say, screw it, I'm not doing this today. And they give up. And you just never give up. Never give right. up. You know, every day you got to commit. Just to like those people who go on a diet or they give up smoking yeah. or they, they, they want an exercise program and everything. You know, I was one of those people that would get up and say, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. I'll do it tomorrow. 100%. And then I had to make a lifestyle change for myself. 
And that's what it is. It's making a lifestyle change and keeping everything in balance between your work life, your finances, your personal life, your spiritual life, you know, and, and all the other wheels that you want to hold in balance. It's about having balance. hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, we, you know, we focus a lot of times on work so hard that we forget about everything else. We forget about, you know, our, our health. We forget about our faith. We forget about our relationships and, um, it's all important. It's all important. It's all when you're living a good life, in one area, you got to live a good life in all areas. Um, you know, whatever you, whatever, however you do something, you do something halfway, you do everything halfway. So when you do something full way, you got to do everything full way. Um, and right. it's really, and there's a concept we talk about called the force of average down in my apex group and uh, down in Texas where I go. And uh, it's really a real thing. I mean, we all sometimes wake up and or just want to be average. We just want to lay in bed. We just want to, you know, it's hard to get up every morning and work out. It's hard to eat right every day. It's hard to be intentional with relationships. It's hard to call the leads up. It's hard to show 10 houses a day. It's hard. And most average people just give up on that. And uh, this force of average really is really a strain on a lot of us. It's an anchor that we all drag. Um, when you think about this concept, um, we have this uh, FYA, we call it. Uh, forget your excuses. There's a little more vulgar word for the F, but we'll just say forget your excuses. And uh, you say I wear the hat a lot. And we all make excuses of why we can't do things. And it's just an excuse. It's just an excuse. When you say to yourself, oh, I'm tired. Oh, it's not enough time. Oh, you know, it's just, you're making an excuse. We can do anything we want to do if we put our minds to it. And it's all just a mindset to just say, hey, we're going to get this done. You know, and I'm not perfect by all means. Every day I struggle with the force of average Nobody's myself. Perfect. You know, some people yeah. think I'm out here preaching that how great I am. How I am. When I'm out here speaking these messages, I'm speaking to myself because this is all stuff I'm working on in my life. Um, you know, it's not easy to, to, to be on your game every day. But we also also got to you know, remember. It's a mindset, right? It's, isn't it a mindset that people can't adapt to? So that's why they, they, they throw stones at you because yeah. they're not in your mindset. And nobody has to be in anybody's mindset. They just have to be in their own shell and their own world doing something that's for them and something that's for for to help them get a little bit better and closer to what they want, you know, 100%. and, um, yeah. you know, like myself, you know, my health, uh, you know, I have to take care of it. I have one body and I got to take care of this one body. Otherwise, you know, that body will shut down and tell me, you know, no, no, I can't go on like this. So it's about you and the inner core of you. 100%. I was, so I was 305 pounds. It was, it was ridiculous. I couldn't tie my shoes without getting out of breath. I mean, it was just, it was insane. It was insane. And you can't live like that. It's just, you can't go on living like that. You got to make choices of, you know, one day of eating bad turns into two days of eating bad, turns into three days of eating bad, turns into four days of no exercise. And before you know it, you're 305 pounds and you're getting out of breath tying your shoes. Um, it's just, when you feel good and you work out, I mean, it's just, it just feels so good. I mean, it's like, it's like being high all the time. It's like, you know, high on life because it's just, you just feel it's good. It's ironic you're on the beach and you, and, and you see those granular sands and we're all like that granular sand yep. of excuses, yep. right? There's so many excuses. Where are you? In Long Beach? Are you Long in Long Beach? Beach? Yeah, I'm down the block. I'm down the end of the boardwalk over here. It's the end of the boardwalk right there. Uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, I see where you yeah. are. Okay. Beautiful morning. You're on the other end of the boardwalk. The you're on end. Neptune, Yep, right? yep. Down here at the end. So I was going to go all have right. breakfast at Riptide. You want to meet me at Riptide's a little bit? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, no, I have actually some coaching calls to make uh, between 930 and um, 11. And we're setting up our week schedule yep. so that we can catch, you know, uh, 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 you know, get a get a start on tomorrow and through Friday, me and my team. So we do this now on Sundays just for a little bit, whoever wants to jump on and then put together our schedules for the week and we time block each time hour block, so that we're doing something productive at each and every given hour of the day rather than sit there with breaks and social media yeah. garbage and we're doing something productive for the community and we're doing something productive for our business as well. That's awesome. That's awesome. Time so block I is so important. To join you. So come over here and I'll, I'll have coffee on the porch. On the porch. Yeah, we all ride out that way. We'll grab coffee on the porch on the way out. And, uh, all right. If you want, if not, I'll speak to you during the week. Sounds good, brother. It was great to see you. Okay, and, uh, yeah, we need, we need to catch up. It's been a while. Exactly. Keep crushing it, Brian. Yeah, I appreciate and keep you. Going and keep inspiring people here on, uh, you know, the, uh, 
What your program is called again? We Ride at Dawn 365. So that's right. We Ride at Dawn. Keep I, inspiring everybody. If anyone wants it with, you, we, with this podcast. Uh, go check out the Facebook group. I share extra messages in there and I share a bunch of positivity in there and whatnot. Uh, let's try and change the world together. We're all in this together. And, uh, you know, the world can be a rough place on a lot of people. And when you have good people in your life, you surround yourself with good people. It makes it that much easier, including exactly. uh, who, uh, who basically got me to this point. You know, you're the, uh, the originator of this journey, getting me into this real <laughs> and encouraging me that I could do this and uh, believing in me when I didn't even want to. <clears throat> kind of I just find it fascinating that a lot of part-timers in our business and our business culture don't know to do what you're doing and they don't have the mindset to work full-time capacity and then they complain that they either broke or they need a full-time job or some sort of support system because they're depending on it and there's nothing wrong with dependence it's just that you want an independence from a lifestyle that will bring you to another direction and you want to make sure that if this is truly what you want, like you said this, you said it mentally, you said, this is what I really want to do. I want to sell real estate. And when you saw that the results were greater than your mindset, then you said, I'm sticking with it and I'm going to continue to help people. And that's just what the message that, you know, I try to convey, you try to convey. And I love this. I love this fact uh, that you're here on a 365 day journey. And then I'm so, so excited for what is to come after that journey is over. Yes, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I started thinking about that. Do we stop riding at 365 or do we keep going? No, you just keep going. Just the keep ride going. continues. The journey continues. One morning I want to sleep late. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's funny now. Now uh, I get up before my alarm. Even this morning, uh, it's been a long couple of days. Again, coming back from Texas yesterday, got to see the kids yesterday. I had dinner with the kids and uh, whatnot. And, uh, the alarm went off this, this morning. Actually, I, I woke up and I look at the look at the alarm clock and I realized that the alarm's about to go off. And I was like, as tired as I was, I still woke up before the alarm, waiting for the alarm to go off. And I find that in years past, I would just hit snooze and snooze and snooze and snooze and didn't want to start the day. Now I'm like waiting for the alarm to get off, go off so I can get up and go do my ride and I can start my day. Uh, it's a whole different mentality when you're you're happy to get out of bed. And if you're not happy to get out of bed, it's time to start making changes in your life. If you're hitting snooze. I got out of bed naturally this morning because my mindset, again, my mind is working overtime into what I have to do here. You know, we all have plenty of time to sleep when we're dead. Oh, yeah. that's now Sleep is important. We need, do need to have sleep in our lives. You do get into a zombie if you don't sleep too much. But uh, I, just, I train myself or I've been training myself just to get to bed earlier because uh, when you start your day early, um, you get so much more done. Um, you know, rise with the sun. Um, you know, at those late night hours, you're just dreary. And you don't, you're not productive. Even you think you're productive, you think you're burning midnight oil, but you're not productive. Uh, when you get up and you start your day early, and, and you see the sun, and you get your exercise, and you get the blood moving, you get the hard things done first. And uh, you know, uh, Ryan Stuman, who runs his Apex Group that I'm part of, he was on my live the other morning. He spoke about how you got to do the hard stuff first. You got to get up. You got to punish your body a little bit and get get everything, get the blood moving, and same in business. You need to tackle those things you don't want to do, those phone calls you need to make, those hard things you need to make that you need to accomplish in your day for work too. Uh, you need to do them early in the day. And then you should unwind your day rather wind your day up because when your day gets harder, you tend to not do it. You tend not to hit those goals because it's hard and you're getting tired and you're wearing out. So set your day up where you do the hard things early in the day and then start relaxing as the day goes on. Start unwinding so that when it comes to the end of the day and it's time to see the kids and the family and all that stuff, the hard stuff that you got is done and your mindset as you're as you're wearing out is now gear start move towards the family life and uh it really makes a lot of sense get up get the hard stuff done get it out of the way and then coast a little bit as the day goes on there's a, when you, there's a video called uh, make your bed you know yep. the, with the uh the, the the uh the military who is it the uh, the admiral the general he he has a nice uh, commencement address called make your bed and it's on youtube and every time i hear it i always think about you know starting the day making your bed right and making it so that no one ever can disrupt the the purpose or the or or the design of of your day 100% 100% you know you start your day right you know uh Ryan also talks about how you do one thing is how you do everything you know if you if you don't make your bed you don't push in your chair you know, you don't say hello, that piece of garbage, you don't put your shopping cart away, 
it's it's all a way of living do everything with excellence uh represent winning every day is something that that he coaches everything you do in your life should represent winning nothing should be halfway you should be proud of everything you do you should be proud of everywhere you go every person you see you should leave everything better and uh it's like you know like kind of like a boy scout motto you know right it's everywhere you go you should leave it better and um when you live your life like and on that note my friend i'm gonna sign off and i'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of that beach behind you yeah, I'm gonna go and uh, if you get a chance, give me a call later in the week, okay? It was great to be here with you and inspiring Thanks with you. Thanks for coming on, brother. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Take care, my friend. Right. Be well. Bye. All right, everyone. It's Left On here. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, Joe Sonona is, uh, is the man. He teaches the real estate class over at Hofstra. If anyone is looking to get into real estate, reach out to me. I'll connect you with Joe. I'm always looking to expand my team. Uh, from new agents to experienced agents to agents that may be struggling. Um, I'm here to help you. Um, reach out to me. Uh, I can show you how to do this. And we are down here in glorious Long Beach enjoying a day. So everyone, I hope you got something out of this message today. Went a little long, so uh, sorry about that. But uh, we want to give you some extra knowledge. Anytime I get Joe Sonona on here and, and speak, it's a, it's got some value that we can add to you. So if you had, if you like this today, comment like share um, I will share this around this will also be in my group we ride at dawn 365 I invited a bunch of you to that go look it up on Facebook uh, go into groups look up we ride at dawn 365 I share this message every day along with a bunch of other messages and uh, that's it happy Sunday fun day enjoy the sunshine it's not gonna be around much longer with this coming Ugh, who wants to do that all right everyone be well God bless appreciate you